what's up, Sunset, and welcome back to another episode of The Loft. And guess what? I'm your favorite host, Natalia Paiva. And guess what? I'm your favorite host, Elena Paiva. And, and guess, guess what? what? We have an amazing episode for you guys today. Your word of the week is supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. It means something extraordinarily wonderful or good. So, I'm really, really excited. Do you have any ideas for the name? Um, not yet. I think I want it to be something extraordinary, though. Wilbert. Something more special. Oliver? Mm, Oliver's cute. But maybe even more theatrical. Fiera. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. I've got it. Are you ready? Super califragilistic expialidocious. It's got a ring to it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Califragilistic expialidocious. Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. If you say it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious. Super califragilistic expialidocious. <laughs> What do you think? I mean, it's kind of a mouthful. Maybe for a middle name. And you are watching The Loft. <laughs> Many people who have disabilities face a lot of difficulty and adversity. They have difficulty learning, they get bullied, and they don't get included in group activities outside or inside of school and they might miss out on school entirely. Kids who have disabilities have a 34% greater chance of b being bullied than kids who don't. Kids with non-disabilities can stick up for kids who have them. They can also invite them to do things with their friends, and kids must get the extra help they need when they are trying to get an education. Mr. Johnson and I teach 10th grade literature and 12th grade dramatic writing. I've always wanted to be in the literature classroom in some sort of way from the time I was like in middle school I was always reading constantly so any excuse to get to talk about books and plays all day that was always going to be a part of the plan. I chose to come to Centennial just because I think that the student body is so dynamic, like everyone here is so different and getting to teach a classroom of students who have all these differences from each other but can communicate about like one single text, that to me is like the most exciting part about Centennial. If I had to teach one other subject, I would probably teach theater, which I kind of already do. I teach dramatic writing. I also, I love like ecology and, and natural sciences, so maybe something in the ecology world as well. My favorite thing about teaching is partially that I get to talk about books all day. That's like my favorite thing in the world. And then also just because the students that I teach are hilarious and I love my students. If I could star in any movie, it would be like a really bad remake of Dead Poet Society for like the Gen Z generation. We're not lunch ladies anymore. It's kind of traditional employees. Uh, I'm the manager here. Since the beginning of the day, the, the entire preparation, uh, all the, the activity in the back, is, 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 is a rush because you come in and it's like non-stop. When you have 10 employees and out of 10, three people call out on one day. That's, that's difficult because they have to still prepare the same food, still do the same menu, and then you don't have the manpower to do it. Another challenge is when we don't get the supplies we need, then it's, it's difficult. Nacho is easy to prep and is the more uh, the stuff that I enjoy the most when I eat it, so the nacho is my favorite. Just the people I work with are fun. I've been here 17 years in this kitchen. I just love, love, love what I do. I have worked for Fulton County Schools for 10 years. My favorite part is interacting with the students. Um, and it's a brief moment in time, but telling you all good morning or have a great day, checking in and seeing how things are going, how your weekend was. It, I love it. I'm a mom and I love children, so I love to make sure that you all are doing well. My favorite artist of all time is Diana Ross. Anyone that knows me knows that I love her. I love the Supremes. I'm aging myself, but that's okay. She's an all-time classic. My favorite part about cooking, um, 
every day is a different day. I mean, to experience tasting the food, that's, that's my favorite part. Eating the food that I cook to make sure it's okay for y'all. I'm eclectic, so I don't, I don't really have a favorite song. I like Chris Stapleton, Tennessee Whiskey. Um, I like R&B, mostly old R&B, 90s. My name is Ava Grindel. Improv is basically just like acting on the spot. So like you just get thrown into a scene, you just kind of got to do it. I like that improv is very like free. You can kind of do whatever you want to do with it, honestly. And there's like no limitations. And it's really fun. You get to like be different characters and stuff. And it's really fun. I think my favorite improv game is one that's called True Confessions. And basically there's like a hat or like a bowl or whatever. And you like pick out a random um, like confession that you confess to the other person who you're um, doing your scene with and then you just kind of have to roll with the flow and it's really fun. I joined theater because I've always liked doing theater, I've always liked acting, like even in middle school I did like the musicals and stuff and it just, I really thought it would be really really fun and then freshman year I was like why not join theater, I thought it'd be really fun. My favorite part about theater probably is just like the students, like the community and stuff, like we all kind of come together to put on shows and like hang out and stuff, and I like hanging out with everybody because we're all like a big family, and it's really fun. You're watching The Loft. Welcome back to Creature Feature. The creature this week is the Atlantic Blue Marlin, aka the Makaira Nagraikans. They are native to the Atlantic Ocean, typically in areas far from land. Blue marlins use their spear to impale their prey, such as squid and a variety of pelagic fishes, such as dolphins, tunas, mackerels, and flying fish. Their predators consist of white and short fin mako sharks. Their extinction status is vulnerable due to overfishing, particularly in the international waters off the coast of Portugal, where they migrate to breed in the June-July months. Fun facts, they are among the largest, fastest, and most recognizable fish in the world. Their cobalt blue and silvery white bodies and spear-shaped upper jaws make this big fish stand out in a big ocean. They can grow up to 14 feet long and weigh up to 1,985 pounds. Their size can compare to a six foot tall man. Female marlins can get as old as 27 years old and males can live up to 18 years old. Because blue marlins are some of the fastest fish in the ocean, they can be said to average 50 miles per hour or 80 kilometers per hour. However, they can reach up to 68 miles per hour or 110 kilometers per hour. Now you know all about the Atlantic blue marlin. Your creature next week is a sea otter. This has been Creature Feature. <laughs> This is This Week in History. This week on January 26, Kobe Bryant died in a fatal helicopter crash with his daughter and several others. The crash happened in Calabasas, California early in the morning in the mountains. Many people mourned Kobe and they even had a 24 second violation trip before him in all basketball games that day. It was a very heartbreaking event. On January 27, 1973, the United States South and South Vietnam Viet Cong and North Vietnam formally signed an agreement ending the war and restoring peace in Vietnam. The settlement included the ceasefire throughout Vietnam. In addition, the United States agreed to the withdrawal of all U.S. troops and advisors, totaling about 23,700, and the 
dismantling of all U.S. bases in, within 60 days. January 28, 1986, the Space Shuffle Shuttle Challenger exploded 73 seconds into its flight, killing at least seven passengers on board, including a school teacher who would have been the first civilian to achieve space travel. The explosion was caused by a problem with the rocket booster due to cold weather. What's up Centennial, welcome back to CSPN. I'm your host, Ethan Mew. The boys and girls varsity basketball teams have a game tonight at the round table against GACHS. We hope to see everyone there. Go night. Just gotta focus. <laughs> throw the Matt, throw the mask! Yes! <laughs> Ew. Whopper, 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 Junior Double, Triple Whopper. Yeah, I'm kind of a funny guy. That's what they called me back in high school. Oh, yeah. 35 minutes I know my local Sonics. Hi! Get out of here! Burned them! That's juice. Did I even know that off the bat? I said, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh P.O. You gotta get there. Have you ever tried using your legs? I've thought about it, but like, <laughs> it's a bit of a problem. Speaking of Chipotle, I had a very bad experience. She only put beans and cheese in there. She better see this. She's gonna see this on Friday. I do not like that. She said we're being boring because we're- What she wants to do? Oh, oh. You should have seen the comment. Being <laughs> No, no sisters. Tell me a joke, tell me a joke, man. Oh, I can't say that. I'll tell you a joke. Nick Southard's error stats. That's a joke. You're watching the love. And that's it for this week's Insane. I hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you next week. Good night.